Hello everyone. This week we will focus on cannabis and hallucinogenic substances. You will be able to describe the nature, ways of using and the effects of these substances. You will know their epidemiological patterns. And you will be able to explain the key terms related to cannabis and hallucinogenic or dissociative substances. Cannabis has been used in some cultures for hundreds, or even thousands of years. The concentration of psychoactive ingredients in cannabis plants has steadily increased over the past few decades. Prior to the 1990, the potency S was estimated to be less than 2%. By 2017, the range in popular strains was estimated at 17-28% to 28%, and some concentrated oil products may even exceed 95%. Therefore, individuals using cannabis products today face a higher relative dose compared to what past generations encountered. It is often difficult to estimate exposure due to the fact that different strains have different concentration. Also, different methods of preparation, such as marijuana, hashish resin, or hash oil, will affect the concentration. It will also depend on how the product is consumed and what other substances have been mixed with cannabis. Across the United States we have seen the change of policies concerning the use, possession, production, and distribution of both medical and recreational marijuana. In this module we are going to use the term cannabis instead of marijuana, because it is more scientific and because marijuana use has been heavily tinged with racism concerning African American, Caribbean, and Mexican populations. The word marijuana, originating in Mexico, has often been associated with stigmatized or marginalized groups, hence the stated preference for the less politicized word cannabis. Common street names for cannabis, or marijuana, include pot, weed, grass, herb, nuggets, ganga, dope, although this can also mean heroin in some communities, reefer, ganja, hash or hashish, Mary Jane, and stinkweed. Cannabis refers to several psychoactive substances derived from either the cannabis sativa or the cannabis indica plant, and less commonly the cannabis ruderalis plant. Traditionally, cannabis use involved inhaling smoke either directly as a form of cigarette or cigar. Nicknames include joint, blunt, roach, doobie, or through a filtration system. Nicknames water pipe pong. Vaping is another way to use cannabis and it has been linked with lung injury. The act of smoking cannabis has a number of nicknames, as well, toking, cheeching, blowing, firing one up, going loco. Smoking delivers psychoactive chemicals quickly to the brain. Cannabis is also consumed as edibles. As baked goods, candy, infused cooking oil or butter. This way, the psychoactive effects might not be experienced for 1-3 to three hours after ingestion. Cannabis products are most often used alone. However, individuals may use them with other substances such as alcohol, cocaine, or heroin. The effect will be stronger and sometimes the combined used may lead to opioid overdose. When used with stimulants such as cocaine, cannabis will soften the harsh effects of cocaine. How commonly cannabis is used? Other than alcohol, cannabis continues to be the most widely used psychoactive substance in the world. An estimated 188 million individuals used cannabis in 2017. 45.3% of individuals over the age of 12 years have used marijuana during their lifetime. 15.9% during the past year, and 10.1% during the past month. Data suggests that marijuana use is more common among men than women. Past year marijuana use was reported by 18.5% of males and 13.4% of females among persons age 12 and older. The highest rate of cannabis use is reported by individuals identifying as American Indian or Alaska Native. Asian individuals report the lowest rate of cannabis use. The vast majority of individuals who use marijuana do not use it daily or almost daily, but almost 8.7 million individuals do so in the United States. Long-term heavy cannabis use is associated with detectable functional and structural brain changes, particularly those involved in memory and cognitive performance. Research shows an average of 8 points lower IQ in individuals who used cannabis regularly over a long period. Additionally, individuals who used cannabis 10 or more times before the age of 18 years, were more than twice as likely to later receive a diagnosis of schizophrenia, than individuals who did not use cannabis. There is also a significant prevalence of comorbid cannabis use disorder, and other mental health disorders. Chronic cannabis use, can result in development of a substance use disorder, specified in the DSM-5 as cannabis use disorder, following the 11 diagnostic criteria. Women exhibit an accelerated progression to cannabis use disorder after first use, and show more adverse clinical problems than men, which is known as telescoping. Traffic injuries, related to cannabis use are also of concern, particularly as more regions permit its medical and recreational use. Children who have been prenatally exposed to cannabis, 
have a higher risk for neurobehavioral and cognitive impairments, as well as alternations in the dopamine neurotransmitter system. The term cannabinoid refers to a diverse range of chemicals that act on the same cannabinoid receptors in the human body. Many of these are either genetically modified versions of cannabis plants or laboratory manufactured synthetic products. Endocannabinoids are produced naturally in the human body. Modified and synthetically produced cannabinoids may have many times greater relative dose exposure than those occurring naturally. Spice or K. These are synthetic cannabinoids produced by spraying plant material with psychoactive chemicals. Cannabinoids have recognized medical uses recognized in many, but not all countries. Cannabis remains a Schedule I drug in the U.S. Cannabidiol, CBD, is a cannabinoid naturally occurring in cannabis plants, including hemp, although it can also be synthetically manufactured. CBD does not produce the psychoactive effect seen with THC, seems not to have the abuse potential seen with THC, and appears not to affect heart rate or blood pressure under normal conditions. CBD may prove helpful in treating opioid, cocaine, cannabis, and tobacco addiction. Cannabinol, CBN, is a cannabinoid with weak psychoactive potential, much less than THC, from which it is made. It is interesting because it has effects on immune and inflammatory processes rather than psychoactive effects. The term hemp refers to cannabis varieties low in THC. They are considered non-intoxicating and are used in textiles, as construction and insulation materials, cosmetics, pulp, paper-like products, animal bedding, insect repellent, biodegradable landscape matting, cooking oil, and as fuel. Because of enlightenment or spiritual associations, hallucinogens are among the oldest psychoactive substances known to be intentionally used by humans, possibly for as long as 10,000 years. Hallucinogenic trips can be experienced as either enlightening, fascinating, wondrous, or bad, fraught with creepiness, terror, distress, and anxiety. Hallucinogenic and dissociative substances are those known to distort a person's perceptions of reality, altering a person's thoughts, feelings, and awareness of their environment, to the point where sensations seem real although they are not. Dissociative substances also alter a person's sense of reality, inducing a sense of being disconnected or detached, from reality and disconnected from control over one's own body. Hallucinogens, are sometimes referred to as psychotomimetic, for their ability to mimic psychosis. Sometimes people can experience unreal sensations, including the sensory crossover. For example, people will hear colors or see sounds. The kind of sensory crossover experience is called synesthesia. Hallucinogenic experiences may persist or recur well after the active ingredients have been fully metabolized and the drug's effects have worn off. This is known as drug-related flashback. Examples of naturally occurring hallucinogenic substances are psilocybin, magic mushrooms, and mescaline peyote cactus. Examples of synthesized hallucinogenic substances are LSD, lysergic acid diethylamide, and MDMA, or ecstasy. Examples of synthesized hallucinogenic dissociative substances are PCP, or phencyclidine, ketamine, and dextromethorphan, DXM, the substance in many cough medicines. Based on data from the 2018 National Survey on Drug Use and Health, we can see once again that the age group most commonly reporting the use of these substances were emerging adults, 18 to 25-year-olds. However, compared to many other substances, such as alcohol, cannabis, stimulants, sedatives, opioids, the rate of hallucinogenic use is considerably lower. The results for lifetime, past year, and past month use of hallucinogens in general, LSD, PCP, and ecstasy are presented in the following graph. As you can see, LSD was the most commonly reported of the hallucinogens and PCP the least.